Carlo, it's understandable. There's some people believe in God and some people don't. I'm focusing on physicists, and there are some physicists who believe in God, and there are many physicists who do not. We know that. What's interesting to me is when I talk to them, the evidence each one uses is the universe. So that if we were imagining a court case and either one was prosecuting for their side, they would call into evidence, uh, uh, exhibit A is the universe. So the theist would say, you know, I believe that God exists and here's part of my evidence, the structure of the universe. And the atheist would say, same thing, here's my evidence, the universe. The atheist would say that if, if there were no God, the universe would be exactly the way it is, chaotic and, and uh, random and very... The theist would say, if there were a God, the universe would be exactly the way it's structured, beautiful, awesome, uh, anthropic to give rise to life, etc. So how could the universe be the evidence for both theism and atheism? <laughs> so you say the universe is uh, uh, religiously ambiguous. That's what I think. I think you're right. <laughs> I think you're completely right. And uh, the evidence that you give for that, namely the existence of different people, is a good evidence uh, for that. Um, I think setting the question in terms of giving evidence for something, uh, like in a court of judge, I mean, I defend this, uh, it's a wrong, it's a wrong uh, story. It has always been the wrong story, because I think that uh, uh, whatever people believe by meaning, by believing in God, uh, whatever people of different religion mean by believing in their own God, uh, has nothing to do with evidence, has nothing to do with calling the, uh, the universe uh, as a witness of their own belief. It has to do with something internal, it has no, to do with themselves, not and, with and the universe. And to be fair, the people who do believe in God, the physicists, say exactly what you're saying. They're saying this is not a proof of it, but it is consistent with it, and to me, because I believe in God for other reasons, internal reasons, that it, it, it enhances my knowledge of God. But in a sense, they're using it as a, 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 a confirmation of what they already believe. The atheists would use it maybe as more direct proof. I was being kind of a little simple. The theists would say it's a corroborating evidence as opposed to primary evidence, I agree. Uh, but still you have the universe being used in this uh, very much um, uh, of a polar opposite ways. Yeah, I think the universe can be read in all sorts of ways. I mean, I think a, a, a Hinduist sees evidence of the existence of many gods in the universe. A, a Muslim says uh, evidence in, uh, in a super powerful single, certainly not trinitary, uh, God, a Christian says, uh, sees evidence of his own God. I mean, everybody, and an atheist sees uh, a total evidence of uh, the non-existence well, of God. I, I, I think that, um, let me tell you what I read. <laughs> I, I, I was too polite to ask. Um, what, uh, uh, first of all, I, I, I wouldn't go around to people who believe in God telling them I don't believe in God. Uh, you have to believe me because of this and this evidence. I mean, I have my own way of things, and I'm happy with that, which come from my education, from what I learn, from what I know, and how, how I see. But this is some deep personal thing uh, which touch, touches the emotion, the values, the core, the reading of the world. So uh, I don't think one can argue about it. For instance, I think that if a Catholic wants to convince somebody else of the value of his Catholicism, the last thing he should do is argue for the existence of God. He should just live in a way that people say, oh, look how beautiful it is. <laughs> Be attracted to that. Um, what, I, I'm an atheist. I'm very serene atheist. I'm happy with my atheism. Mm -hmm. And uh, what makes me atheist is not an argument for the existence of God, uh, for non-existence of God, uh, is because uh, I have an idea about God. Is, uh, I think that God is something, I, I have my own understanding of God, which is what humans came up with for their own reasons for this story. I think uh, there is a natural reading of the development of religion, so I have an understanding of what is religion, partial, not complete, uh, um, which to me is satisfactory understanding of what I, I personally would differentiate between religion and, and God. 
because as a, a religion is a very sociological, uh, organizational, cultural, so many complexities to religion. The question of, of God in whatever form is a question of, uh, about the uh, most fundamental underlying fact of reality. Is there something beyond the quantum fields or whatever string theory or quantum loop gravity, whatever, whatever ultimately is the final theory of the physical world, is there something beyond that? Or where did that even come from in the first place? So, I mean, that's what I'm looking to, to talk about. I'm not talking about the different, uh, different expressions of human religion because that's all cultural and, um, and uh, a, lo a lot of it is obviously um, uh, idiosyncratic to the time and the culture and uh, a lot of it is obviously contradictory and so it all can't be right. I mean, that's for sure. But probably what seems to you a, uh, uh, something independent of the specific... Uh, uh, cultural realization of, of religion, what seems to you a central, uh, maybe common or fundamental, it's it maybe it's your own particular uh, uh, culture and your own particular uh, view of the world. Sure. So I, I, I would say, um, what I would say, uh, there is a possible perspective uh, uh, again, uh, your question was, is the universe evidence of everything? Uh, there's a possible perspective on the universe, uh, which is uh, 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 shared by people like me and others, uh, which is uh, any attempt to say uh, beyond what we understand about nature there is something else, uh, is just an, a non-explanation. Non it's just giving names to our non-understanding. I think that uh, my own perspective is that, but I wouldn't try to sell it, I would just announce it, to say it, is that uh, whether we don't know, we don't know. Where there's a mystery, there's a mystery. Where we, we don't have an answer, there's no answer. Uh, there's no need to fill it with something else. So uh, my own way of being an atheist is not um, a claim that I know better. It's a uh, uh, acceptance that I don't know, which is a very different thing. And when people talk to me about God, I say, well, what do you know? Do you yeah. really know more about But is, the, is that atheistic or is that agnostic? Oh, it's definitely atheistic because I have an... No, but, but then you, 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 atheistic, you're saying that I know there is no God because I understand the physical world or whatever your argument is. If you say that there's mysteries and I don't know, you may think, I think it's highly unlikely there's a God or something like God, but you, you can't say there's no God. You can't be well, from my if, if you I don't, don't know, you can't be an atheist. I think you're contradicting yourself a little bit. No, because, uh, uh, no, absolutely. Because uh, um, uh, as an explanation uh, of the thing that I don't know, I don't find anything meaningful. In, 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 in this. So, so that's, that's if, a definition if, of agnosticism. No, it's not. Because are you agnostic? No, because this is standard argument. I mean, are you <laughs> agnosticism as the f possibility of existence of, you know, red dinosaurs on, on Mars? No, I'm, I'm, an a, I'm an atheist about that. You're an atheist about that? Yeah. So I'm an atheist in the same sense, <laughs> with respect. I mean, I, everything which I have heard, uh, me, as Carlo Rovelli, has heard uh, about, look, there is a possible way of understanding beyond. Uh, it makes no sense whatever to me. Mm. It makes sense to me when people say, look, I, in my own life, I talk to God. It's meaningful, it gives sense to me. Yeah, but, that I understand. But if you understand that, you understand that in a patronizing way. No, I understand you're, it in you're a patron, respectful you're, way. You're patronizing, you're saying that person is saying that thing, but it's clearly wrong, but if they want to do it, I'll let them do it. Why wrong? I mean, I have friends who don't, never tell me, we, I understand the world better with you because I believe there is a God who created her. I have friends who tell me I talk to God. That's God. I, 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 I have nothing to say but, with it, God. I mean, that's fine. Well, but they don't but, but, tell but, but, me this is an explanation of the world. They don't even think about that. But, you but, think about that, but, but not but, them. But, but, but you don't think they're right. You don't of think course they're, they're right. What's wrong in that? No, no, I, I, I'm not saying right in some moral sense, but you don't think they're, they are, you do not think they're talking about God, talking to God, because you don't believe there is a God. No, they're talking to something which they call God, and I can call God with them. There's nothing wrong in that. I, I talk to trees. <laughs> I like to talk to trees. 
okay? I really do. Well, I don't think trees exist, so I don't talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> I talk to trees. Uh, why? Because, uh, uh, for instance, when I'm stressed, I have to give a talk. I'm stressed. So I go out, beautiful <laughs> trees, possibly an old tree, okay? A big old, old tree. tree. Yeah, young trees don't work. I go, young trees work less. Okay. Well, I, mm. I'm sorry, young trees, I respect you. Okay. But uh, old trees, I, I respect it more. And I go there and I touch them, I talk to them, and I feel they're giving something back to me, okay? Am I deluding myself? I don't think so. I'm having a real relation with something. I'm talking to you. I don't think you have more of a soul. Which is better, me or the tree? tree. Depend for what? For having an articulate conversation, definitely you. But preparing for a speech, the the tree. Yes. Okay. I know Uh, my place. (laughs) (laughs) So, um, I don't think I'm deluding myself. I think I'm having a relation with something which is part of nature, which is the trees, which is there, and uh, and it gives back something to me. I think that for some of my friends, some of my Catholic friends include, uh, I remember a young woman, uh, her name was Emanuela, who was often talking to me about her personal relation with God. I do understand that because uh, we do these kind of things. I don't think there's anything contradictory. I don't think there's anything wrong. I think she has a rich psychology, rich spiritual life, like I have a spiritual life, if I would call this way. Nothing of that has anything to do with explaining what's beyond quarks but, and but, uh, but but your analogy is you, there is a tree there we all agree there is a tree there and you're investing in it some sort of a communication which i'll give you i've not done that myself but mm-hmm. i can understand that but when this woman who is doing that same thing with god uh you're looking upon it that that she's doing like you were doing with a tree, but she's not thinking of it that way she's thinking she's really talking about the person who created your quantum fields I don't think she would ever say that there's no, a person she wouldn't, who created my quantum she, fields. <laughs> no, I don't think she would, but that's what she's saying. That's what she is implying. And you're being a little patronizing, uh, allowing her to do that in the same way you're talking to a true. Well, maybe she's also a little patronizing with me, saying, <laughs> Carlo, you're an atheist, but you're a good person, nevertheless. <laughs> <laughs> you see, um, I can tell you about my own atheism. Um, I think that I don't know the mysteries and therefore I tr- don't trust the people who say they know something about that. I agree with that. I agree with that totally. I feel... But you're not describing an atheist to me. You're describing to me an, a, oh. an, a, a, a deep agnostic who doesn't believe in any traditional God but who has uh, recognizing the mystery of the world. A true atheist, which I think you are not, would not say that. They would say, you know, the universe is the universe, and at some point we'll find the ultimate theory that maybe has to be necessary, and there is v- absolutely no God. I'm sure of it. Well, let me put it this way. I'm absolutely certain that there was no Zeus in the sense here. Okay? So, um, uh, a lot of Catholic friends of mine, because I grew up in a Catholic country, Italy, sure. so I have a lot of Catholic friends, uh, are very much atheist, 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 uh, atheist yeah. about Zeus, about Krishna, uh-huh. about... Uh, so they're atheist about a lot of gods. <laughs> I am atheist like them about all those gods plus one. <laughs> so... Uh, mm, again, uh, if you want to... Uh, we can use names. If you want to call what I feel I don't know God, fine, you're f- f- happy to do that. If by God you only mean, you say, God is such a slippery world. I mean, everybody says something different. For somebody, God is, 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 uh, is something I can go inside myself and relate to. For some God is a creator of the world. For some God is, for somebody is a, is a, it's a, o- it's a overpowerful thing. We just have to prostrate and, uh, and, uh, and there's no, uh, for somebody, it's just many, many gods. Uh, so there's in, this infinite variety of things, uh, many of which I just, just don't relate to at all. In fact, I would say most of which I mm. don't relate to at all. Um, that's me. Full respect and no patronizing whatsoever uh, with respect to people who have a different attitude. And, you know, people might laugh when I go to talk with trees. That's fine. Uh, I, I allow them to laugh. Uh, I would like them to allow me to laugh when they go to church or whatever. <laughs>